Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is very important. I'm going to be teaching you how to use and draw supply and demand the most easiest way. All right. I don't want to hide from you guys any information. And the reason why is because as you can see on my screen, the average daily volume for Forex as of April 2022 is 7.5 trillion us dollar every single day and when you look at this much money how much of this money is retail market okay when it comes to the retail traders we make up to maybe 0.0001 percent so we are nothing compared to the big banks the institutions the billionaires you know the governments who are trading this amount of money every single day on the daily basis so this means i don't hide I don't need to hide any information from you. There is enough money for everyone. All right. There is enough money for everyone. So you might want to sit back and watch this video until the end. If you want to change the way you trade supply and demand. All right. I don't want to give you guys complications. I don't want to confuse you guys. I want to get to the point. I want to show you guys the way it is. So without saying much, let me get into it. Also. I have an ebook that explains and teaches everything that has to do with smart money trading. That ebook contains 33 chapters, 119 pages, full of information, practical information. So if you want to like if you're serious about trading forex and if you want to get the shortcut, please invest in yourself and get that ebook. The link is going to be in the description. All right? So Without wasting much, we want to learn what supply and demand is in the most logical way. So what is supply and demand, guys? Supply and demand. When you hear supply and demand, this, if Forex, if the only thing that comes to your mind is Forex, you're not, you know, you don't have the right information. Everything that moves, everything that buys and sells, there has to be supply and demand, including Forex. You're not buying GBB, you're not buying JBY, you're not holding any currency, okay? You have to understand what's going on in the market logically. If you're not understanding, if you're not understanding what's going on right in front of your eyes, you're not going to be able to make the right decision. Also, you're not going to be able to know what's going on or how to get into the markets without any issues, all right? So let's say here, here I have GBB, JBY. I have this for a reason, all right? I want to teach you guys something here, guys. So if you guys don't know this, this is called the base currency, GBB, and this is called the quarter currency, JBY. Like there, I have GBB, JBY, quartered, a base, quarter currency. So let's say if pound is strong and JBY is weak you're buying pound because pound is stronger and you're willing to buy pound this is how investors think when they invest in in the currency market or any market they look at the economy of that country if they can buy their currency and make profit all right so when you're buying this is called there's more demand and when you're selling that means there's less demand but more supply all right this means when you're selling gbb jby you're basically not interested in buying GBB and basically you're selling it. But when you're buying GBB strong and you're buying this, this is called that there is interest or there is demand for pound. Okay? So quoted base. Uh, so this is the base currency and this is the quoted currency. All right? GBB is the uh, uh, base currency and JBY is the quoted currency. All right? So let's do this here. Okay? Let me delete all this stuff. And show you guys what's going on. All right. Every candle that you see on the chart tell is, is telling you a story. If you're not able to understand the story behind every candle or what's going on right in front of your eyes, you will never be able to grasp what's happening and you will never be able to make the right decision when it comes to trading or any business. All right. So let's say this is a ranging market. Okay. This market is ranging here. This is very important guys all right so if this market is ranging there is equilibrium and there is fair price okay people buying people are buying and selling at a fair price people are buiing here exiting there 
selling here, exiting here, buying here, exiting here, selling here, exiting here, buying here, exiting here, selling here, exiting here, buying here again, exiting there, selling here, and then exiting here. So this means if you are, let's say if you're buying a mango, you are buying at a fair price, okay? You're buying, buyers and sellers are trading fairly. So everything is looking great. Everybody's happy. Nothing is going on here except people are buying and selling confidently without any imbalance. Okay? So the supply and demand here is equal. This is called fair trade. But if this happens, what is going to come to your mind? Now there is more demand than supply. Now there is more demand than supply. Okay? Now there is less supply. And more demand. Now, people are willing to buy pound because the economy is stronger with pound. Okay, now they're investing, you know, all the investors, all the billionaires, all the banks, institutions, federal governments. Now they are looking into investing pound. But when the price does this, this is very expensive. Okay, now there is more demand here. This is very expensive, guys. Okay, they're not, they're not willing to buy it here. They're not willing to buy it here and they're not willing to buy it here. Why? Because this is too expensive for them. This is too expensive for them and this is too expensive for them. All right. So what they want to do is because if they is OK, this is the concept of like buy low and sell high. I'm going to show you guys everything on the chart. Once, you know, you get the aha moment here and then I'm going to move to the chart and then show you guys what's happening in a real life market. OK, so here you see this. This was, everything was fair here, buying and selling equally. But then demand came into the market, big demand came into the market. A buyer is willing to invest a lot of money here, you know, creating a high. So now the big banks and the institutions, they don't want to get into the market here or here or here because it's too expensive. Because if they buy it here, they're not making a lot of money. If they buy it here, they're not making a lot of money. If they buy it here, they're not going to be making a lot of money. But if they buy around these areas, they can buy it low and sell it high. So now what they're going to be doing is the price is going to come back. Okay. All right. Now they're sitting down and they're just waiting for the right moment. They're waiting for the discounted price price to come back to a demand zone where they can buy it for a low price. Okay. Now they say, nope, I don't want to buy yet. You know, the buyer, you know, the demand is coming down. Okay, coming down to the, you know, the right place, still coming down, still waiting for that discount, waiting for that discount. And then once, once it hits an area that's cheaper for them to get into, they're going to buy it. All right. So once they buy it, then they can sell it later on at a high price. So once they target this area, they can exit and sell it. For a higher price so now this is what we called supply and demand all right market here was good everything was fair price went up creating a lot of demand and then banks and institutions and all the billionaires they don't want to buy it here they don't want to buy it here they don't want to buy it here they have to get into a discounted price so once the price comes back to a demand zone that's fair they will buy it again target the recent high here and then cash out okay there was a balance imbalance and then rebalance everything was balanced imbalance was created which is demand and now price came back to rebalance the demand mean meaning price came back to fill that demand that's needed here and then it went up again so this is how uh, demand works in the markets. If I invert this and make it a supply zone, same thing. There was a fair price going on here. Buyers and sellers are all happy. Everything is going on smooth. And then once the price, you know, created this imbalance, which is now there's more supply than demand, which can happen is now the investors are not going to sell here because they're not going to make good money. But if they buy from here and exit here, now they can make good profit all right so anything that's a pullback here consider this as a discount 
everything that you see this if this people is a discount this one here same thing this one is the same thing but there's a lot of liquidity that's sitting here price is gonna go all the way back to a supply zone okay and now they're gonna enter and target the previous lows here and exit it with a good profit so let's say if you're buying something for like a dollar okay and you want to sell it for five dollars you made good profit but if here was a dollar you don't want to buy it for five dollars or three dollars because you're not going to make good money because you want the price to come back to the area where you can get in for like one dollar or two dollars and then sell it for five dollars it's like buying a product okay this is the same way that any market works forex works the same way do not do not just look at the candle okay you need to understand the logic behind every candle that's printed on the chart because every candle every shadow everything on the chart is a transaction so you need to understand how things are moving and where things are heading okay all right then you can go ahead and make the, make the right decision and trade properly all right now let's go to the real chart and show you guys how to spot supply and demand now that now that we explained this a little bit on the chart we can go ahead and find out how we can trade supply and demand the proper way okay all right all right let's let's start from here okay here we can see that price was going up creating higher high high lows let me start from the uptrend and then we're going to go to the lower time frame we're going to go to the downtrend market okay now we, we're going to look for a demand zones and then we're going to learn about supply zones within the live chart here so we can see this price was creating high low low lower high lower low lower high lower low and then somewhere lower high here low to lower low all right now where is the last area where uh the reversal had happened okay here is where the turnover the turning point happened okay this way the change of character happened this is where supply and demand flipped okay and the reason why i say that is because i'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you guys literally I'm going to explain to you guys very easily okay so price was going from here from to here created a lower high and then led to lower low so from here there was a supply that was sitting right here okay there was a lot of supply sitting here so this supply was a lot of traders sold from here targeted right here so now there's more supply than demand but once this supply is taken out now there is more demand because supply is being cleared now okay now there's more demand than supply all right so over here you can see it we have a change of character once we get this change of character when you look at it this is a v shape okay all right this is what you call a ranging all right this is what you call a fair price S sellers were selling from here and exiting here buyers bought from here and exited here so they, this is a fair price they both trading very fairly everything is looking great there is no issues everything is fine everything is looking fair until this had happened boom so when this happened now there is unfair price now there is an imbalance now there is more demand than supply all right all right now the market went from you know seller market to a buyer's market which means people are willing to buy pound because there's more value in pound right now okay according to what's going on on the chart at the moment all right so the price went up creating higher highs now what's gonna happen is like you know what hey we need that discounted price so now what are they gonna do is you can see there's a little bit of break of structure going on here and then price came back to the extreme demand zone which is right here okay price came back to the extreme demand zone which is right here because the buyers they don't want to buy it from here this is too expensive for them okay 
they don't want to buy it up here because this is too expensive for them. So what they want to do is they want to get into a discounted price. So why did they choose this area? Okay, let's find out. Why did they choose this area? Because there was more supply going down and now there is a demand up here, back to supply, down, and then supply is broken. More demand now, okay? So why did they choose this area? All right? I'll show you why, guys. I'll show you why. Because if you look at this candle here, this candle is not mitigated very much. There is a space going on here. This space is not touched yet. So if there is imbalance or there is an area that needs to be filled somewhere here between this candle and this candle. There is a fair imbalance going on. So price has to meet the demand. Okay, now price came back all the way down, creating lower highs, lower lows. Okay, you can see price coming down, creating lower highs, lower lows. And then if you are a lower time frame, lower time frame trader, you can also trade this and take advantage of it because you can see there is a demand. There's a supply going on here after the break of this structure. There is also another supply going on here after the break of this structure. There is also another supply going on here, which you can sell it from and make money from. Okay. There is also another before after the break of this structure. There is also another uh, what do you call a supply around this area here? All right. Again, price continued going down, breaking this structure here. Okay. Price came down and there was a little bit of imbalance going on. Okay. A little bit of imbalance going on. But what happened was there was a, and there was a small flip supply and demand that came all the way down here, pulled back, and then continued to the downside and then went up. And then price started reversing from this area. Okay. Going down. All right. And now we have another break of a structure to the downside. Once we get this break of a structure, price tapped on your extreme demand zone. So what happened after that, brothers and sisters, what happened after that is now you have a, what do you call a change of character. So what is a change of character? Change of character basically means a reversal or a turning point. So this supply, this supply here led to lower low, taking out this low here. This was your last supply. This There's more supply than demand. So price came all the way down here, tabbing on your higher time frame demand zone after the break of this structure here. And then price started creating a higher high now the supply here was taken over now price is basically creating higher highs instead of lower highs lower lows now people are willing to buy again pound jby they're willing to buy pound because pound is stronger now so they want to buy it now there's more demand you know uh for pound now most of the investors and most of the people who are investing in this market heavily it makes more sense to them to invest in pound because the economy good, everything is looking good, so they want to go ahead and invest in pound. So here will be your demand zone. Price created that change of character, came back to that demand zone, and now you're taking this trade to the upside, targeting the highs, okay? All right, guys? Very easy. Price continued going up, creating high highs, high lows, breaking another structure here once we broke this structure what happened after that is we have an imbalance between here and here okay the high of this candle and the low of this candle are not touching each other meaning everything here was fair sellers are selling uh, from here from this supply zone exiting here buyers are buying from here exiting here everything is looking fair everything everything is looking great they're all buying and selling fairly but then an impulse, which is more demand, came into the market. So now what's going to happen is they don't want to buy it from here. They have to find that nice discounted price. So the price created an imbalance that needs to be filled. So there is more demand 
that needs to be fulfilled around this area. Price started going up. Okay. Came back again to fill this demand zone again. And then create another break of a structure. Okay. Came back again to fill this demand zone. Okay. Create another break of a structure. And then finally giving us that change of character. All right. Giving us that change of character here. All right. Once you get this change of character again, price was fair. Buyers was buying from here. More demand. Exited here. Sellers come into the market and they started selling from here and then exiting right there. So now this is a very fair V shape. When you look at this V shape here, Everything is looking very good, buying and selling very fairly. But what happened was price started breaking the demand zone here because there was less demand than more supply. Now people are willing to sell pound because pound is kind of getting weaker. And the investors now, they're looking at it like, you know what? Hey, you know what? I do not want to buy pound anymore. I just want to sell it because it doesn't have a lot of value anymore until next time. So now it makes more sense to them to sell it. All right. Now there is an imbalance or there is a supply here because this shadow is not mitigated. This shadow here is not mitigated. So now the price has to go back, rebalance this shadow here, and then continue to the downside. Again, we have another break of a structure here. Once we get this break of a structure, what happened after that is buyers are buying from here, exiting there. Sellers, sellers get into the market and they exit it right here. So everything was looking balanced until this happened. Okay. So now what happened after that is they don't want to get in here. They don't want to get in here. They don't want to get in here, but they want to get in here. Why? Because there is some type of imbalance going on or there is a supply area that's sitting right there. Okay. The supply area that's sitting right there because this is the extreme high, extreme high, lower high, led to lower low before the break of this structure. Now they enter in the market selling again. They had another opportunity right there and they sold again. All right. But what happened was right here, price started creating a change of character or a turning point. Change of character simply means again a reversal or changing from downtrend to an uptrend. So now buyers come into the market again. The sellers were started selling from here, exited here. Buyers ex entered from here and then they exited here and then price did a little bit of this and then break the structure. So now everything was fair selling and buying fairly. Everything was looking good. Now an imbalance was created or a demand was created because now again they want to invest into a pound because pound is getting stronger again all right because when pound is strong they buy it, there's more demand and when pound is weak there's less you know more supply and then less demand so now there's another entry right there guys there's another entry right here when you look at this you can see they don't want to buy it here they don't want to buy it here they have to wait for that discounted price because if they buy it from here, they cannot make good money or they buy it here, they cannot make good money. They can, they're going to end up losing money. So as a business, it makes more sense to them to buy it around this extreme demand zone, which is right here. All right. They started buying again. Okay. What happened after that? Price went up, breaking this structure. Okay. Went all the way up. Okay. And then right here, you can see sellers were selling from here. This is a V-shape again. Buying and selling equally. Everything is looking good. Sellers are selling here. Exiting here. Buyers are buying here. And then exiting here. Everything is looking very fair. But then price created a demand again. All right. So now what are they going to do is they want to buy it again from this demand zone. Because this shadow is not mitigated. So therefore... Everything else here is already touched. There's no imbalance here. There's no imbalance here. Everything else is mitigated. But this shadow here, price consumed a lot of stop loss because they took out this stop loss here, came down and then shot up 
so there is a demand that needs to be met right here and you can see how powerful the buyers came in here started buying pound again so guys this is very very simple let me just recap it real quick i hope you guys understand what i'm teaching here very easy very simple so basically let's say price was coming down here okay sellers started selling from here and then exited here buyers come into the market and then exited here so when you look at this triangle everything's looking very fair very equal buying and selling equally demand and supply is all equilibrium fair price okay but if this happens now there is a demand for that currency pair okay so now the big banks and the institutions they don't want to buy it there they want to buy it at a fair price okay if they were buying and selling two dollars they don't want to buy it as a seven dollars okay because they want to sell it at that price now what happens is they're gonna wait until the price comes back to a fair price value and then they're gonna enter sell for a seven dollar as an example all right so guys if you want to upgrade your knowledge in trading either you're trading stock market forex whatever it is get that ebook invest in yourself it's not expensive i can literally sell that ebook for 149 dollars easily and more because you have a lot of information that took me a long time and the reason why i wrote it is because i just wanted to help as much as i can all right so invest in yourself get that ebook level up your knowledge and become a profitable trader all right until then this is your brother jamal make sure you subscribe to the channel and spread the word go give this information to a friend to a family member someone that you know that is suffering go give them this information send them the channel you know let them know about what's going on here so that they can also become a you know knowledgeable trader until then guys thank you very much peace and love i appreciate you all have a wonderful wonderful trading month ciao